another advent calendar video. I'm gonna celebrate, it's advent calendar season. Hey guys, from the 9th of September, you can purchase the Altoria advent calendar and shop the new range from www.altoria.com. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a video or competition. Hey everyone, welcome back to another advent calendar video. So today I'm gonna to be doing Feel Unique. Now I must say one thing, the packaging is so much better than last year. This year it looks very forest-like. Woodenly, woodenly, is that even a word? Well, I've just made up a word. But it looks really beautiful. It looks like a storytelling advent calendar, so I'm really excited to see what's inside. I'm loving the blue. The blue is great. I'm loving the um, mustard yellow because, as you guys know, I love a little bit of mustard yellow. Now, this advent calendar will put you back £75, but the contents inside are worth £250. Now, the products inside felt like I was stabbing it then. The products inside are full size samples. So I don't know if there's gonna be any full sized products, but let's check it out and see if there is or not. Okay, so you open it like a book. Ooh, what's got on here? <gasps> oh, I don't think we've opened one up like this. That is different, look. <laughs> it's like a little picture frame for my head. I don't know why I did that, but here we go. I don't want this to fall, so I'm gonna prop it there. Box number one. Oh, great start. So this is a Lime Crime product. So I don't know if you guys know, Lime Crime came live onto Feel Unique, I think it was this year. I did go to an event for it, which was absolutely amazing. I love a good Lime Crime product. So this is Diamond Crusher, and it's like a really nice pinky sparkly colour. It says iridescent lip topper. Oh great, loving the packaging, looks really, really nice. That's a really good start. Box number two. Oh, Murad product. So this is the Retinol Youth Renewal C Serum. Murad is actually a really nice brand. I've used a few of their items before. So what you do at night, you apply it to the skin and then you pop a moisturizer on top. You only need a little bit, so this might last you. I don't know, like a good month or two. Box number three. In this door, we've got a Crabtree and Evelyn, and this is the Rose Water and Pink Peppercorn Hydrating Hand Therapy Cream. We got this in another advent calendar, and I cannot remember, which one was it? I want to say, I don't know why I'm like slapping it against my neck. I'm gonna like pop it here, because it was definitely in another one, and it smells, gorgeous it smells just like rose water especially the rose water range from the body shop so if you like that this is a really nice hand cream box number four here we've got a kms moist repair and it's a shampoo i haven't tried this product before and i love a good moisturizing shampoo and conditioner there better be a conditioner in here it smells a little bit like medicine for the hair i'm not like over keen on this smell, I'm not gonna lie to you. Door number five. Oh, we got the conditioner. It must have been listening to me. So I'm glad they got them, uh, the conditioner to go with the shampoo because it just totally makes sense. So again, this is something that you pop in after the um, shampoo. Um, it says leave in for two minutes and then you rinse. Day number six. So here we've got a Nika product and this is the Loose Mineral Blush. Oh, I love Anika. <gasps> Oh, this is a treat. So this is called Blooming Nude Blush. So it works very similar to Bare Minerals. So you do have a little tab and then you like kind of, I always want to say grind it like a, like a, a nut grinder or something. Now the color of it is, I like to say borderline blush because it can probably get away being used as a bronzer as well. It's very nice. A, Good size, I reckon. Day number seven. Here we've got the Facial Radiance Polish, and this is by First Age Beauty Fab. Oh, I like what they've done there. So the abbreviation of the brand is Fab, but it's 
first aid beauty very clever so it says that it exfoliates purifies and brightens the skin it also says that it's safe for sensitive skin as well so great for most skins it smells quite earthy actually a little bit like patchouli box number eight. Oh, we got a bit of james reed now james reed does pop up in some advent calendars i think it was in the amazon one last year so this is the gradual tan h2o tan drops for the face wow okay let's have a little look because i'm very intrigued here we go so it looks almost like an oil but it actually isn't it is water based so it doesn't interfere with your normal skincare routine so what you do with this you just pop it onto the face and you massage in gently and then i think you leave for a few hours it actually doesn't say how long you leave it on for but it does say that it doesn't dry out the skin and it's suitable for all types of skin. Interesting, I quite like the sound of this product actually. Box number nine. Here we've got a Caudalie product. I love Caudalie. This is a very expensive brand, so I'm really happy to see that Cordially it has actually featured quite a lot in the advent calendars this year, which is great. So this is the Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. It is quite a generous size, actually. If you didn't know, this product has grapes in it. It's very great for the skin, really de detoxifying. Oh my gosh, I almost couldn't say detoxifying then. Box number 10. Here we've got a Percy and Reed product, and this is the Finishing Polish. I admittedly don't particularly like this brand, I don't really like the smell of it and I have been let down by a few products before so I'm not going to lie about that. Um, so this is meant to apparently use a pea size on the hair to smooth control or groom unruly hair. Maybe this would be really good if you have just got back from a party, maybe a Christmas party and your hair the next day is pretty wild. Maybe you could pop some of this on to tame it a bit. Day number 11. Can't get into this one. So this is Sol de Anemia. This is definitely a brand I have never heard of before. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Oh, what's it meant to do? This is a Sol de Janeiro product. I can I read that wrong. It looks very strange on the front. I think what they've used as their USP as the whole Brazilian butt lift, which... Uh, okay, I'm going to leave it there because I'm not quite sure on that whole USP. But it's just a rich moisturiser just to... Um, it's probably actually really good if you've got any like cellulite or anything or stretch marks and you need something sh like thicker to moisturise. So this apparently has um, caffeine in it so it keeps the circulation going and it's meant to give your derriere a smooth touch. Day number 12, halfway through. In door number 12 we've got a living proof product and this is the Restore Mass Treatment. So with this you shampoo pop this into your hair, leave on for five minutes, and then you rinse off. Now, it smells, it's very light product. It actually hardly has a scent to it. It smells quite summery, actually. It is much thicker than most conditioners. That's why it's a bit more intense. Day number 13. By the way, I'm loving that it's kind of an order. I know some people don't really like that, but... It kind of makes sense with advent calendars like this because it doesn't like all come out, if that makes sense. Here we have, I think this is going to be a lip balm. It is, and it's a pomegranate raspberry one. Oh, it looks like a little egg. And the brand is Evolution of Smooth, E-O-S. It smells like baking. It smells like a raspberry brownie or a raspberry cake. Day number 14. I might pop this down for the remainder of the video. In this store, we've got a Charlotte Tilbury product. Wow. This is the Charlotte's Magic Cream. So this is an instant turnaround moisturiser. This is absolutely incredible, by the way. Um, I think it's like a really nice product if you are like a um, foundation wearer and your skin gets a bit dry. This is like magic, honestly. It's so nice. 
day number 15. In this store, we've got a Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula, and this is the Softens, Smooths, Relieves Rough, Dry Skin. I love this brand. Palmer's is incredible. I actually think that it's probably the one of the best moisturizers to buy if your skin is very dry. Oh my gosh, it actually smells like the Altoria Christmas cookie candle. Smells so flipping good. If moisturizer had a dream, it would be that. Day number 16. In this door, we have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster. So this is a plump serum for the face. So this is meant to hydrate tired skin. So you can either use this product on its own or mix it in with your foundation or BB cream. There we go, it's got a little pipette so you can easily apply it to the face. Box number 17. Oh, we got a lipstick. Is it a lipstick? Yes, this is a bombshell red and this is by Revlon. Here we go. Oh, it's a lovely red. It's not like a balloon red or like the orange side of red. It's more like berry red, like a burgundy berry red, yeah. Box number 18, it's very large. Oh, it's a sleek highlighting palette. Oh, yeah. I've just opened the sleek advent calendar. I'll leave the link to that one down below. Wow, wow, wow. So here, we've got two baked blushes or highlighters as such. You've also got a cream pinky highlighter and you've also got a champagne one in the bottom left corner. It also comes with a brush, which is nice. Day 19. Here we've got the Laboratories Feluga, and this is the Time Filler. So this is an anti-aging product. Now, since we haven't really had any other anti-aging products in here, I actually don't think this belongs in this calendar. That's just my opinion. Uh, just seeing that everything else isn't very anti-aging. Um, but for someone like me, this would be great because I keep saying this, I've got aging skin now. I guess it's only one door. If you haven't got aging skin, you could give it to your mum, grandma, sister, anyone really. Door number 20. Ah, here we've got a Sigma brush. So this is the P82 Precision Round Brush. Now this brush is perfect for applying a base eyeshadow colour or your eyelid primer or eyeshadow primer, should I say. Door number 21. Oh, I think we've got our first face mask. Yep, so this is the incredible Sparkle Like a Unicorn Illuminating Chic Mask. Not chic, mask is a sheet mask. I think this is great. Um, having a face mask in advent calendar totally makes sense. Door number 22. Here, we've got a Power 10 Formula Feasy Affection with Vitamin C it actually doesn't say what you should do with it. Okay, I've actually found some information on this product and it's very interesting. So it does have vitamin C and tea extracts in here. So what it's meant to do is tighten the pores and make the complexion seem a lot more smoother. It's also very good for dark circles and also any blemishes. So what you need to do after you've toned your skin, you pop two to three drops, apply it to your face and then you can use moisturizer as normal. Reading the reviews, it seems like people see results in the next two weeks, three weeks, two, second or third week. Day number 23. Here we've got a Chianti London Wonderlust Mascara. I think this is actually full size. Whoa, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, got a good head on that. Love that it's full size as well. Day number 24. Four. To finish off with, we've got a Ren product, and this is the Ready Steady Glow, and this is a toner. So that is the Feel Unique Advent Calendar. Much better than last year. There is a lot of variety in this calendar. The only critique I have on this is that it only had one anti-aging product in there. I probably would have maybe not had that in there. Probably wouldn't have done it, but I guess it does add variety. If someone like me, I opened it, there's an anti-aging product, I would use it, but I'm just thinking of other people that might not. So who would this be great for? I reckon this actually could be great for anyone, really. I think there's some really lovely, beautiful products. 
I do think this is actually suitable for teens. I think teens would enjoy this. So when I say teen, I'd say anyone from 16 and above. So I'm just gonna do some costing. So this is a 24 day calendar, so 75 pounds divided by 24. Each door works out to be about three pounds 12. For quite large sample sizes, I actually don't think that is bad whatsoever. The only thing I have to add, um, I, I don't know if the products inside are worth 250 pounds. Maybe if they were full size items, it would be worth that money, but I don't know. For the sample sizes, I'm not, I'm not quite sure on that, but you do pay £75 for this calendar, which I think is very, very reasonable. If you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. There are so many advert calendar videos coming up. Don't forget that I am still selling my merch. Link is down below. You can get jumpers, tees, candles, accessories. So go and shop. Link below. But as always, guys, please make sure that you link, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another video.